what's up so I went to the movie theater today because I wanted to watch a movie and I wanted to get out of the house but I couldn't stay in the movie theater I, I tried I tried to stay in the movie theater and I felt as soon as I said down in the movie theater I felt a sense of I'm not going to be here to see this movie because the Lord is going to tell me to leave the movie theater and I was like okay well maybe I'll feel a little bit better once I actually start watching this movie the previews started and then once the preview started, I got, the heaviness became stronger and stronger and stronger. And I could feel the Lord tell me, you're about to see something in one of these previews that is going to shake you. Be prepared, but do not be afraid. And I was like, okay. And then I saw the Hunger, the new Hunger Games movie trailer. The trailer for the new Hunger Games movie. And my heart sank. I could feel it sink to the pit of my stomach. seen nothing but seven years of tribulation in that trailer. The wickedness and the evil that was portrayed in the movie hurt my heart. And then, um, the Lord put a message on my heart, and the message was predictive programming. Now, usually when someone says predictive programming, I usually shrug it off, and I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe, but I never really looked for that before. But here lately, I've been looking at it, and I can, after watching the Hunger, the, the new trailer for the Hunger movies, the Hunger Game movies, I just went, oh my gosh. How more of a predictive programming can you get? And I've watched all the Hunger Game movies because it's something my husband is, he likes to watch it. But I never really seen the evil in it. But after watching the trailer, I saw nothing but pure evil. I saw nothing but the coming years of the coming seven years of tribulation, the reign of Antichrist. And I felt in my spirit, it'll be much worse than what you see with the seven years of tribulation. And I don't I don't understand why the like I didn't even get an hour into the movie and I felt the Holy Spirit tell me to get up and walk out. So I got up it, it was strong. It was almost like I wasn't getting myself up. It was like the Holy Spirit was getting me up out of my sleep. My seat that I was sitting in. And I was walking so fast out of that movie theater. And through the casino to my car. And I did not feel safe. I didn't feel relaxed. I, I felt 
Like, I was getting away from danger, but I don't understand why I felt like I was getting away from danger. When I've been to that, I, I go there all the time to watch movies. I go there for bowling. Uh, that That's the reason why I go to the casino, is to go bowling or watch movie because it's the closest, it's the closest bowling thing to us, and it's the closest movie theater to us. If I go bowling anywhere else or anything like that, I have to go at least an hour or more out of my way. But I felt something was wrong. I felt like the Lord was showing me something, and I felt the urge to get up and get out. And let me tell you, when the second I got in my car, shut the door, I felt immediate relief. Um, immediately I felt like I was safe I was out of harm's way and I was at total peace and safety and I I don't I don't know why the Lord wanted me to be out of there but the Lord has his reasons and I am trusting in Jesus. I am trusting in God. But Jesus moves in ways we cannot see. And we just have to trust. I am looking for the Lord's glorious return. Jesus is coming soon. I cannot wait to be with my Jesus. Could he come today? Yes. Could he come tomorrow? Yeah. We are waiting. His return is imminent. He's coming in the clouds. He's coming for me. He's coming for us. I'm looking for my Jesus.